We're over in White City, and yes, we're near Westfield Shopping Center, but we haven't come here for that. We've come here for this, the Television Center, once known as the BBC Television Center. And we thought, well, now it's open. Let's go and have a look around. Between 1960 and 2013, this was the headquarters of BBC Television. The whole complex was closed purely to BBC staff, entertainers and people visiting the studios. So the tour we're going to do today, you couldn't have done before. And now they've completely opened it up. So let's go and have a look around and see what's here. Some of this original building are Grade 2 listed, which means you can't do anything with it, which includes the central ring, which we're going to have a look at, and also Studio One, which is still used for some TV programs today, which we're not going inside to be able to have a look at. In 2010, the BBC announced that it would cease broadcasting from Television Centre, that it had sold the property to developers, and that it would have some TV studios still, but it would have entertainment and leisure facilities and approximately a thousand new homes, which is what a lot of this complex is now made of. On this side of the complex, you've got various restaurants and also a large hotel. Remember, everything we're looking at today would have been closed off previously when it was just owned by the BBC. Let's go back in history, and back in 1949, Norman Collins, the controller of the BBC TV service, announced at an annual dinner that the new TV centre would be built in Shepherd's Bush. At that time, TV broadcasts came from either Alexandra Palace or Lime Grove Studios. It was announced that the new television centre was to be the largest television centre in the world, and it was planned to be only six acres, but turned out to be twice the size. Now, if you watch BBC TV programs, you'll still recognize these pillars and this central area that we're going into because that's been featured on many TV shows and actually still is. Now, this area was the main reception into the BBC and now is the entrance area into a lot of the studio flats. Again, this central ring would have been out of bounds to the public, but now you can just come in and have a good look around. And here you've got lots and lots of studio flats overlooking this statue in the middle. This is a statue of Helios, the Greek god to the sun, to symbolize the radiation of television around the world. And at the foot soon you'll see the statues, which are two reclining figures symbolizing both sound and vision. Now interestingly, this was originally designed as a water fountain, but the water fountain was turned off when the BBC were here due to the problems that they could actually hear the water and the water leakage into the videotape area, which was in the basement. When the BBC moved out, most of their TV dealings then went to Media City up in Salford in Manchester. Incredibly, when the BBC sold the building to the property developers, they sold it for only £200 million. And this was low, partly due to the fact there were very high levels of asbestos in the building. At the beginning, we showed you Westfield Shopping Centre, and that was one of the reasons the BBC sold this building, because they knew that property prices around here for residential properties would increase. Now here's a little game. How much do you think a property would cost here at Television Centre? Let's let you just dwell on that a second as we take in the fountain. Now here on London Visited, you know only the best will do. So a penthouse suite here at Television Centre, two to three bedrooms, two to three bathrooms, and also a sitting room will cost you a penthouse two and three quarter million pounds to 4.8 million, depending on the size of the property. Now you can see why the statues sound and vision are reclining under the fountain, relaxed at the property prices above them. I must admit, personally, if I was going to spend that much money on a property, I can think of so many other places that I might wish to buy. If you're in the UK, you'll still recognise the television centre, which is used to broadcast such programmes as Good Morning Britain, Lorraine, This Morning, Loose Women, and other TV shows as well. The three remaining studios are still being put to good use. So what did you think of Television Centre? Now you can get in and walk around. What was your favourite bit? And also, would you actually choose to live here and spend that much money? Let us know in the comments down below. Speaking of property prices, I've put a video to Grosvenor Square up in the top right hand corner where they're building lots and lots of properties. If you look on that one, I'll see you in there.